4 25 26 and Adam knew his wife again and she bare a son and called his name Seth for God she said hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel whom Cain slew now I have a whole comprehensive layout for tonight but because of time I just want to do this let's have a few questions to continue on Tuesday and to who was an appointed replacement instead of Abel whom Cain slew to him also there was born a son and he called his name Enos or Enos Enos then began men to call upon the name of the Lord according to the account of scriptures this is the entrance into the concept of prayer the Bible was silent about the technologies or the protocols by which Adam was designed to perform his enterprise in Genesis chapter 2 God said tend the garden or dress the garden and keep it but the Bible did not reveal to us the tools with which he will perform that enterprise however the Bible said that it was at the bath and the christening of a particular son that men began to call upon the name of the Lord lesser man it means a weakened man it means that those who congregate as the sons of Seth the members of the church those who, who express within the set called church must understand that if we compare you with God you are not there there is the mark of the fracture of the Adamic fall that is on you I know you are saved but respectfully speaking you will be unwise to think that at the point of redemption you have become like your father in heaven there is a legal becoming but there is the design of salvation is to produce an organic becoming a living becoming in the organics of your redemption you do not fulfill that at the entrance point and so when you begin your journey you are supposed to begin with the consciousness that you are of a lesser sort that you do not look like God who is like the Adam here you do not look like Abel who is the one from whom the lineage of the Christ came Jesus didn't come from the Cain side he came from the Abel set side you are not even as strong as set because the longer our departure from accurate existence which is life in the garden expresses the more depraved we are the lesser will become impotency. Are you getting my point? So those who existed five days or five years after the departure from the garden will be, have a greater advantage. Except truth is deliberately curated. That's kept from corruption. Truth many times finds alterations and modifications as it becomes transgenerational. That's why many of the things we are doing we are still functioning in them religiously so the church Seth a replacement appointed replacement it was by a judicial decision in heaven that the church was appointed to be the face of the Christ in the earth and the church was given the privilege to bath as members we are in us and the Bible says when that he called the name of his own son Enos then it gives us a picture of how the Enos company can maximize their existence it cannot happen if they stop calling on the name of the Lord so like it was in the days of Seth and Enos it is in our days that what the existing church has battered was designed to be a creature of prayer and when we speak of being a creature of prayer 
like my brother sang I came by prayer I stay by prayer and I will also go in prayer prayerlessness according to Luke 18 1 or oh, the absence of prayer will not produce a prayerless man it will produce a, a weak expression of man a fainting man one who can no longer perform the enterprise unto which he has been apprehended that's what will happen to the person who has stopped praying so whether you be sick you be happy or you be rich you be poor what aligns you with the ultimate will of God for your life and that's what I'm going to start on Tuesday is that you exist as a creature of prayer and that's my introduction to the subject of prayer it's as important as your existence it is actually one of the definitive realities by which we know that you are a man man ought always to pray and not to faint so when we see prayers casually or prayers you know scattered it means that we need to talk to the biologists to help us find another nomenclature by which we'll be called you are not a man and the things that men do will not be successfully carried out through you the energy of man after the fall was locked into the womb of prayer